Yo, what's going on, everyone? This is hey. Jeff the Geek Driven. We're here for another episode of Week in Geek. Uh, I've got my buddy over here, Charlie, Reboot Charlie. What's going on, Charlie? How's it going, man? I'm Carlos Charlie from Reboot Robot. Everything's going pretty well. Uh, I can't wait to see what's uh, going on this weekend. We I see we have a few good things to um, to say on uh, you know on on the news on the weekly news to see what's out there. So happy to see what you have, and uh, yeah, let's let's get this going, man. How you doing? Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm good. Uh, you know, a lot of exciting things to talk about today, and um, nice. I I was able to cut down the amount of articles, only the ones that should really really matter, and uh, nice. maybe we can talk more in depth, but um, you know, not waste everybody's time. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> That's a good plan. Uh, yeah, I bet they'd appreciate that. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, before we get started, obviously, we got to give a shout out to our sponsors. Mm -hmm. And we give a spout, shout out to Cover Price. If you want to get 30 days of unlimited Cover Price for only 99 cents, you just got to type in the code Nerdvana14. Um, and of course, you know, it's a great tool. Keep track of your collection, see what the market trends are, and see what's hot. Uh, also, <clears throat> go visit our buddies over at Bird City Comics. Uh, they have a bunch of store exclusives, incentives, toys. Uh, you can get 10% off your purchase from Bird City Comics if you type in the code TNH10. And then, of course, go visit our buddy Sean over at DisplayGeek.com and you can get 10% off your very first purchase with the code Team Nerd Herd. Protect all your toys, your Funko Pops, your video games, yes. and, uh, you know, some of these little put-together uh, shelves. All right. Yeah. And, and then a uh, shout-out to our um, moderator, Uncle Rudy. So Rudy. go follow him on IG. And then, of course, give a shout out to our resident DJ, Eddie, uh, at Beats by Monster. Go follow him on IG as well. Oh, yeah. And uh, let's give a shout out to our chat. Well, I mean, GT of key? course, it's GT Key. I, <laughs> I would never doubt it. Uh, thank in, you, sir. Yeah. yeah, man. And then we've got Sean. Sean, Sean. what's going on? Thank you for up, joining buddy? us. Going? Uh, can't wait to talk about this, you know. As we talk about these uh, articles, uh, let us know what your thoughts are. So, um, anything you want to get into before we get into this? Uh, me, I'd yeah. say uh, I'd say let's let's jump right in and see what we have there, man. See what news you All have. All right, let's do this. All right, okay. Unfortunately, obviously, we just got to start off with a little bit of bad news. So, mm -hmm. if you grew up in the eighties. Yeah, uh, you definitely know who this actor was. Uh, Lou Gossett Jr. Um, passed away at the age of 87. Um, he is the first black man to ever win a supporting. Uh, I mean, a first black man to win a supporting actor uh, for the Oscars. Mm. Ugh. Uh, and uh, he's definitely known for uh, an officer and a gentleman. I think that's what yeah. he won the actual. Oscar with Richard for. Gere, right? With Richard yeah, Gere. with Richard Gere. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. He was in Iron Eagle. Um, I mean, this is uh, all 80s here for me. Uh, mm -hmm. Obviously, he started a lot earlier. He started, I think, in the 50s. Yeah, well, way back. Yeah. So, yeah, he won an Academy Award for Officer and a Gentleman. And, yeah, so it's, it's really sad. Mm -hmm. uh, but it looks like he lived a long life and, uh, you know, as uh, Kevin Smith would say, it's a good bucket of wins. Yeah. Oh, definitely, man. <laughs> yeah, definitely legendary, though. Back in the 80s when I grew up, the movies there were so different, so nostalgic. So, yeah, it's it's a sad yeah. passing for sure. And then we'll move on to one other passing. I mean, it's sad, but people pass away here. Um, if you guys don't know uh, mm -hmm. Chance Perdomo, uh, he is a young actor who just passed away at the age of 27 um yeah he was in a, a one vehicle well, motorcycle accident uh and uh unfortunately didn't make through it he was uh he started in chilling adventures of sabrina that was on netflix mm -hmm. yeah. and then he started in gen v which was in its first season uh for amazon prime mm -hmm. and he was one of the main characters uh in gen v so it's it's really sad i i don't know how they're gonna they're probably gonna have to replace him or something or write in a story, but um, it's really sad that someone, <laughs> I was so surprised when I saw this news. 
Yeah, I remember the Chilling Adventure Sabrina. He kind of stole the show, man. He, yep. I love the character. He was really flamboyant, funny. <laughs> so yeah, warlock, right? Yeah, and yeah, he was warlock, and man, at age what twenty seven, so young, man. That's my con uh, condolences to the family and everyone he's loved, man. That's really sad, dude. That's bad. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. R.I.P. Yeah, R.I.P. Mm -hmm. Comics fun. Thank you for dropping by. Um, but let, let's let's move on from the the sad news, and let's get on to our very first article here. Basically, uh, we've been talking about this lately. For um, sure, man. Yeah. Black you know, Black. there's a Disney struggle, uh, power struggle. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm getting a lot of ads, aren't I? <laughs> okay. So yeah, Disney was in a st power struggle uh, a couple of people wanted to become you know get on the board so they yeah. can help control things um one of those people was nelson peltz who was also backed by ike perlmutter and if you don't know who ike perlmutter is i've said it many times he used to be kevin feige's boss mm -hmm. uh he was the guy who uh kevin feige almost quit at marvel because mm -hmm. of um he was a difficult person to work with uh if you guys don't know, um, when they were replacing uh, War Machine, um, uh, finding the replacement, uh, he he basically said, I don't care who you get, you know, which black actor you get, they're all the same to the fans, to the audience. Pro so, Yeah, and I was just, that's wild hey, stuff. Hey, boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, definitely uh, glad that now they're saying that they're declaring that those two people are not going to be able to get their grubby hands on the board. There you go. And uh, now Bob Iger is going to have another year, year and a half left. And mm -hmm. uh, now he needs to find a successor and not mess it up like they did with Bob Chapek last time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's a win. Yes. Yes. And uh, last week we had uh, Aaron, uh, we had Yeezy and we had Ferdinand, uh, on here and uh, they're both stockholders so uh, shareholders so I'm pretty sure they voted their conscience on this and yeah I think <laughs> it was like a three to one vote basically oh there you go okay so that makes it'll, sense. it'll be tallied by the rest of tonight but yeah okay um, it's just uh, you know trust me you, you rather have this regime in for disney than <laughs> the one that tried to get in than the one that passed yeah for sure yeah so it's a good win yeah definitely so let's move on from this one um if i can get back to it all right so if you guys haven't heard there was this movie called godzilla x kong in the theaters this past weekend and it garnered 194 million dollars worldwide mm. 80 millions in in the united states alone uh so i mean that's crazy mm -hmm. um did i freeze no you're fine i see you okay <laughs> yeah i'm did, paranoid uh, oh my god <laughs> yeah I, you know, I might freeze this time no you're fine oh it's frozen for me well anyways um did you go see this movie and and what do you think because that's a that's a crazy number for you know lately oh here's here's, here's what sticks boy says he says who's godzilla <laughs> i don't know <laughs> <laughs> some big lizard that's uh, supposedly is dangerous um haven't seen it yet but i want to because i mean these uh yeah, everyday calm movie or godzilla they remind me of uh, entertainment popcorn scene movies you know they're enjoyable they they, they can't really go bad because it's like there's always action their story there's always something behind it it's a popcorn movie it's entertaining I haven't seen it yet but i mean i've seen uh i've seen the past ones the kong versus you know godzilla all that i do want to see this one it, it, it felt like they made this movie quick didn't they i feel like um the the last godzilla versus kong was like only a few years ago yeah it didn't feel so that quick, long ago right that was quick but this one looks cool i'm i'm, I'm gonna be down seeing it soon and uh yeah i mean it's gonna be a smash it's like a hit uh, yeah, I mean, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing it too. Uh, I like you, I seen the last couple of yeah. Godzilla movies and, um, I'm cool with it. It's just dumb, fun popcorn yeah. movie. So exactly, exactly. And I'm having technical difficulties. Um, I, I, I could hear you. It's just my, your video is freezing, but I could hear you though. 
yeah it is uh it is really messed up right now <laughs> i okay, can't get okay. out of this oh really oh your computer stuck probably oh yeah it got stuck for a minute so okay let's see uh sticks boy says these are a buddy cop duo we never knew we needed <laughs> i know right that's such a good a good example to put it as it's so true yeah i mean i heard good things about it um i i also heard like it's it, you're not going there to like get a cinematic you know <laughs> oh yeah like an epiphany or some sort of groundbreaking life-changing movie no man it's right. action it's it's how do you say it, man? It's entertaining. I, and I know if, if I'm going to go see it, I know I'm, I'm, I'm not going to regret it. That's for sure. Yeah, definitely. Um, I, you guys just hold, bear with me. I'm so sure, sorry. Sure. No problem, man. Also, Six Boys says, I'll go to Godzilla comes, but yeah, exactly. You know, <laughs> hey, even though they won an Oscar and Godzilla actually came out and received the, the award, supposedly. But uh, yeah, dude, it's, I mean, I know I'll enjoy it. Come on. Oh, boy. My computer is opening Firefox and I don't use Firefox. Ooh, yeah, that's not. It's I really mean, I use, weird. I used to use Firefox for Splunk, but that's, some, that's also for work, though. So that's I, something totally different. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that is. <laughs> um,. All right, let's see if I can get past all of this. Okay. All right. Are you guys, can you guys see me now or? Yeah. Oh, you're fine. We can see you in here, dude. You're fine. Oh, dang. Okay. All right. Didn't crash all the way. I am happy with that. So now we can move on. <laughs> it's the uh, sticks boy says, Jeff, your video and audio is good on, on YouTube. Yeah, you're good, dude. Okay, cool, cool. Well, we'll move on to Sonic the Hedgehog 3. It Sonic. just wrapped up. Yeah, I mean. Sonic those first two movies have been not a quiet success but like a surprising success yeah it has. Um, they were pleasantly viewable i mean they're actually i enjoyed them both but mm -hmm. yeah and plus i mean there's a huge sonic fan base do believe it or not there actually there's a huge yeah. sonic fan fan base and uh i guess with the wrap-up they've they're teasing shadow and that's cool I've, so right there they they've posted they've wrapped up uh, that's really cool. Yeah. I did like the, the art. I like those pictures. Yeah, I like to buy that, and put on my wall. Actually, right, that right there. Yeah, dude. Oh hell yeah! I, I'm so guaranteeing cool. this is part of the original storyboards they did or something. Right, right. Hell yeah. Um, and then let's see if we can get a picture of that teaser picture. Everything's slow. I heard they're going to have a, maybe a spinoff for Knuckles, right? I think. The I think so. Yeah, it, right. it's it's talking about it down here. If we can look at it, oh um, yeah, see, uh, yeah. So there, yeah, Knuckles going to be a spinoff for du Knuckles, most likely. That's cool. That's um, cool. But we'll see it's how weird. they end this trilogy. Got it. Yeah, I don't I'm see just, the. Oh, the there's no. I think it's just that. No, I thought I thought there was a, a little teaser shadow, but okay. I could be wrong. But yeah, I mean, Man. what do you did you watch the first two Sonics? Yeah, dude, I actually I love them. I mean, they're pretty much it, it, at first I thought the first one was going to bomb. I got to admit because when they first showed, remember they first showed the art direction how Sonic was going to look like. Oh my god, hated it. His face, bro, dude, it's like it's like nightmare fuel. So from there, it left a bad taste on my mouth the whole way. Not until seeing the first one, like okay, they did an awesome job. Second, very cool. I'm third. I'm definitely going to watch it, dude. I, I mean, I played Sonic ever since it first came out on the Sega Genesis, and it's been it's been with me ever since. So yeah, very cool. Yeah. And I'm I'm glad they got Jim Carrey to come back out of retirement. No kidding, because he finished his trilogy. Yeah, that that too. Good point because uh, uh, Jim is like he's he's done with Hollywood. From what I've seen, he he doesn't like Hollywood. He's done with it. But to him to come back out, you know, from the woodwork and do this movie, it's good seeing him again and being his his goofy self. You know, it's like it's epic truly yeah, epic absolutely i i feel like at least he's ending his uh his acting career uh on um like a really crazy wild character that fits his original style of comedy that we first saw on the scene so exactly very cool so i'm glad to see that i can't wait to watch it i can't wait to see a trailer 
I know, I know. We should be seeing something soon. And uh, speaking of what's coming new, uh, Star Trek IV, uh, if from the, uh, I forgot what universe they call it. Oh. Um, is it the Kelvin universe or? Um, anyways, it's the one. new universe with Chris Pine and Zach, uh, Zachary Quinto and Zoe Sultana uh, and Keith Urban. Um, so they're talking about uh, doing Star Trek Four, and they've got a new screenwriter for it, um, Steve Yoki. Uh, so I mean, hmm. are you a fan of these? This this new these new Star Trek uh, movies? Um, I like them. I mean, I, they fall in the same line as like uh, King Kong and Godzilla. You know, they're just it's just uh, sci-fi fun. fun. Dumb yes. fun for me. It's dumb fun. A lot of action, more action than the original original cast, of course. But it's more modern. It's a modern take. I appreciate it. I'm glad there's uh, Star Trek stuff still going on because I mean, we see a lot of Star Wars, but Star Trek we just see a lot of more of a, a TV shows or episodes. I want to see more Star Trek movies. You know, yeah. And this is what we're getting. So cool enough. Yeah, I liked all the actors on on the cast. Mm -hmm. um, I, I actually enjoyed a couple of the uh, the movies. I don't know if I wouldn't say I enjoyed all of them. Um, mm -hmm. But, I mean, that's how Star Trek movies are anyways. Yeah. Uh, even oh. before this universe, so. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, Sticks Boy says, I read they're skipping four and calling it Star Trek five. Really? <laughs> 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 that's it, huh? Four is just a black <laughs> hole. Yeah. You know what? I think I think he might be right. My ha oh, my been April Fools. Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe. <laughs> we never know. I I read that article. I, I saw that article <laughs> too, but I I didn't read it. So that's hilarious, dude. Yeah, we'll uh, see. We'll definitely see it soon. Yeah, I mean, I I love Star Trek, so I'll, I'll oh, yeah. obviously go watch it. Mm -hmm. But uh, stock talking of talking about sci-fi, um, we've got the Matrix gets an update. Yeah, uh, they're gonna make another Matrix movie. <laughs> yeah, man. and this is with Drew Goddard. Um, and if you don't know who Drew Goddard is, he uh, is a screenwriter on The Martian, uh, mm -hmm. Cabin in the Woods. Uh, mm -hmm. so like he's a great person to be directing this, uh, mm -hmm. or and getting into this. And I guess the story he pitched is you know because he was inspired to just you know, by the matrix to do this. So, um, Damn. I'm, I can't wait if, if this is true, uh, I hope they, cause matrix has fallen off, <laughs> bro. Uh, I just don't know if anybody is into this anymore though. Oh man. I mean, I'm a huge fan of the matrix. The first movie blew my mind, dude. It's like, wow. It's the first like kind of meta type of movie that ever came out. Two was good. Three was kind of confusing. <laughs> I watched it a few times. Yeah, still loved it. I still love the trilogy. I love Keanu and all that. The latest one they came out with felt like a nail in the coffin, dude. I was like, man, what a kind of a bad way to go out. It was okay. I mean, the what was it? Revelations, correct? Revelations. That's Re the newest one. Revelations. Uh, right? Revolutions. Revolutions or revelations? Oh, revolutions. I think. It was. Anyways, the latest one that came out, I like the fact. I, I, the one reason I like the only thing I like about that movie is they kind of talked about what the what the robots did after you know kind of working with the humans and not I like I like that 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 closing facts so I've always want to know what the robots were doing but the story and everything it felt very I don't know man like very cut and pasted together and mm, didn't feel like a matrix movie to me I mean I got I gotta admit it so if somebody came with an idea and Warner Brothers says you know what this will fix it or or uh, or make it come back come back that's something to say i want to see what, what he has on the table i really want to see what he has yeah it'll be the first time uh the wachowski um sisters now uh um or not even in it right or direct yeah. this so um i i would look i would be it would be refreshing i think and he's not a bad person to do it either <laughs> uh, matrix but it was the sleep so boring to me dude you're probably in the matrix that's why you even put the sleep dude they probably you probably been put in the matrix <laughs> yeah you i love it dude pill. you gotta take the red pill bro to watch the movie not the blue pill, I, not, I, the blue pill. not the blue pill the red pill yeah so you snap <laughs> out of that sleep man but very uh, cool, yeah very cool. I, I i enjoy the matrix i again mm -hmm. but uh the last the last couple of movies were were man. pretty not not okay yeah Unfortunately, 
Yeah, we'll see though. We'll see. All right, and then if you guys have been watching X Men '97, they've mm-hmm. already got a green light for season three. No so uh, I've been enjoying it. I haven't seen the last episode, which I think just aired today. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah, I I didn't get a chance to to look at the the newest one, but I, I've been enjoying. It. I mean, obvious. Have you been watching this? Yeah, I'm I'm uh, behind two episodes though, but yes, I have, dude. I'm enjoying it, man. I mean, so you watched the first two episodes. Yes. Yes. Okay. And the thing is, like at first, I like how it brings the nostalgic plus a little modern take to it on what's going on a bit, new powers and all that. I like it, dude. I think it's I think it's really cool. So yeah, oh, go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. Well, um, well, we already talked about how they already um, let go of the original writer, yes, you know, or like the, the controversy. So I, I just like he know already who... wrote the first two seasons. Okay, but this is going to be the third season, right? They're yep. green lighting. Mm-hmm. So who's going to? I wonder who's writing the third season. This is probably going to explain it here, right? Or who's going to be? Who's helming the third I season? I actually don't think it says. Okay. Okay. Um, let me see. Season two, season three, running development. Yeah, no, there's no. Okay. I was just wondering, but that, I mean, I, I know they'll take care of it either way. Yeah. The, obviously, the former um, showrunner was Bew DeMeo, who was let go. Yeah. And he did finish writing season two. Okay. Um, but I don't think it mentions who's replacing him or who's going to write the season three. It's probably in the in the works then, or they got somebody in mind, but they can't say anything yet. Yeah, it's probably that, or they have a writer's room. Right, right, right. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. But Hopefully it'll be good hands then. I don't know if it's good news to you guys, but more the merrier for me. Yes, for sure. <laughs> All right, well, let's get into our exclusive Star Wars news. So uh, some of you guys were lucky to go over to uh, WonderCon. WonderCon, I, man. Yeah, you, uh, Big Rob, West Coast Big Rob, and uh, mm-hmm. Alonzo, Comics and Pops. Yeah. Um, and uh, we had a story that Big Rob ran into somebody in his hotel <laughs> uh, uh, in his uh, hotel <laughs> bar. Yeah, hotel bar. I don't, yeah. I don't think. Can we, can we give any names or no? I'm not giving any names. I'm not All trying right. to get nobody fired. I want them to continue right. doing whatever work they're doing. All, um, all we know is that we, um, I didn't run into him. Rob's wife ran into a guy who liked a certain vest he had. It was like an Ahsoka vest. I'm not going to say who, but she wanted to know where he got that vest. And the guy says only people who work on the production of Ahsoka can get this special vest. And from then on, the conversation just kind of snowballed from there. We're like, oh, really? We're like, so. And he gave us stories actually about, what was his name? Stevenson? The guy who passed away from Ahsoka. Ray Stevenson. Oh, Ray Stevenson, yes. He gave us a story. So I knew the guy was legit because he gave us all these little details. But, I mean, all in all, I... Uh, he was talking about you know how he painted the, the Mandalorians and the Mandalorian season, some sort of season. He painted all the the, the okay, armor. It away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, anyways, we asked yeah. this person, is season two, is it greenlit? Is it happening? Are you working on it? And the guy says this, yes, projects are being done. So yes, yeah, season two is greenlit from what he said. So yes, yeah, I, I, I don't want to give description of his job because <laughs> then, then I might give away who it is. Yeah, so um, I'm just gonna say yeah. that. Yeah, the person um, showed the uh, Big Rob some uh, pictures, mm-hmm. and uh, and and of season two. Um, I'm not saying anything was shot. I'm not saying anything um, is official, but basically, he's work. This person is working on season two, uh, yeah. even though we've the best that we've heard was is you know it's in development. Um, this is more. This is more proof that it's actually going to happen. It's probably yeah. going to get greenlit, or has been greenlit, but hasn't been announced. Mm-hmm. So um, I can't wait because uh, they ended season two on a kind of a cliffhanger, anyways. They did. I mean, they season really one. Mm, season one, yeah, they really yeah. did. So there you go. So I can't wait because I mean, I really enjoyed the first one. Had a lot of fan service, dude. It was really cool, man. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, I, I mean. Did that. Gave me the, all the rebels feels, so mm-hmm. yeah, I'm I'm down with that, and I can't wait. Uh, I can't wait to see what the story is going forward. What um, uh, what's his name? Find Ray Stevenson's character. Find, mm-hmm. uh, and I, obviously they'll they'll replace him, um, but you know, 
I'm just looking forward to, to seeing exactly what, how much of the Star Wars lore we get to see. Yes, what gets uncovered or, you know, yeah, anything, dude. From that aspect, from that story on, it really looks interesting, dude. They have so many, so many like, open, how do you say, open-ended questions, you know, what's going to happen next. So, yeah, I can't wait, dude. Great. Definitely. Uh, well, let's move on to uh, the only DC news we have today. Mm-hmm. So, uh, People Magazine, uh, saying that uh, Lady Gaga and uh, the director, um, is it Todd Phillips? That's it. Todd Phillips, mm-hmm. Todd Phillips shared a Joker 2 poster. And tease that the upcoming trailer uh, is coming up. So um, I believe here, here's the poster. Mm. So if you guys want to see it, I can't close this damn ad. <laughs> it, it, it really wants to show itself. Phoenix yeah. Phoenix Gaga. Yeah, Phoenix Gaga, Joker, um, Fully Adu. Adu. Uh-huh. Fully Adu. I, I think that means... Uh, something something too uh, we're sharing they're, they're sharing madness madness of two right uh some i i don't know that's french i, I know so. do it means two though i know that for a fact but yeah, uh, that makes but, sense yeah it's supposed to come out uh october 4th of this year which awesome um this the original one uh made over a billion dollars mm-hmm. uh, who the hell expected that especially from like an r-rated uh movie dc yeah of a step a standalone character which is a villain one of the most legendary villains in dc obviously and, and i remember when they announced it and they said oh they're gonna make a joker movie with no batman and i go well that ain't gonna make anything and that's gonna that's suck gonna make sense <laughs> yeah it makes no sense whatsoever if there can't be batman without joker and joker without batman vice versa but it worked I mean, it worked. well, the funny thing is that it even kind of uh, premised the 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 Waynes in the in this Joker movie. Well, they were so, technically in the movie. Yeah, they are. I so. mean, but um, but no Batman. So, mm-hmm. and now they're gonna have Harley Quinn. Gaga is Harley Quinn. Mm-hmm. Um, if, if you've guys seen any of the leaked pictures or photos um, on the set, uh, she's behind him on the staircase. That that. Mm-hmm famous staircase scene that he's dancing oh, yeah. down right <laughs> yeah like and now they're doing it with her like that's awesome um i also thought it would be like a joke because there was supposed to be a musical <laughs> yes but, kind of um i think that plays with the madness in a way i don't know but that I mean, makes sense though yeah in this context in the joker with the joker's first movie and then going into the context of like it becoming a musical yeah that definitely makes sense of, of the psyche of the of the joker mm-hmm. um and the psyche of uh harley quinn as well yep yep and uh i can't you know i was a little skeptical on the, on the music but you know forget it i've i've watched plenty of movies with musicals charlie well, me- you know uh was it charlie and the chocolate factory um yeah uh, Oliver Twist, uh, you know Hamilton. Just, yeah, ha- Hamilton. <laughs> I love Hamilton. Yeah. So I mean, any Disney movie? <laughs> I know Hamilton or or what was it? Also, uh, not The Wizard of Oz, but uh, Wicked. Oh Wicked. yeah, Wicked, and that's that's a good oh, one, right? That's coming that's, out. That's coming out. Yeah, I mean it's 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 a it's a classic Broadway show or you know musical. Sorry, not Broadway. It's a classical musical. But yeah, they come out the movie with that as well. But yes. Yeah, so, um, and if you guys don't know, the trailer comes out next week on the 9th. So next Tuesday, April 9th, you will get the first trailer of uh, The Joker 2. Nice, dude. I, 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 want, I want to see this musical come into play and see how crazy it is. So, yeah, I, I, I got to see this, see what I'm, what, what I'm, you know, what I'm, what it's up to. Yeah, definitely want to see her version of Harley Quinn. Yes, yes. I think she'll play a good Harley Quinn, Lady Gaga. She's a yeah. great actress, actually. Yeah, yeah. No, she's been in a lot of good stuff. Uh, mm-hmm. Star is Born. Um, she mm-hmm. was in uh, American Horror Story. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. She could she pull it off for sure. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get into uh, another. Let's get into a rumor here. So, um, Finn Jones has been teasing that he might return as Iron Fist. Um, I mean, with all the uh, Daredevil uh, reshoots mm-hmm. and, and uh, rewrites and. Um, basically including the Netflix as almost canon. Um, yeah, that's it's crazy. Uh, but you know what? I'll give him one thing. He's not a bad actor. I just think yeah. his martial arts was terrible. 
at the yeah. time but he also probably didn't have time mm -hmm. um that's what i was hearing and, and also it depends on who was training him what if he needs a good trainer too you just say there right. could be so many things i don't know yeah and so hey there <laughs> i'll admit it when i i was wrong i'm wrong if he comes back i'll, I'll admit it for sure uh, i thought <laughs> I he'd never come back i thought he was burnt to the to a crisp to the by the fans yeah i know for sure that's so but yeah i mean he he posted this cryptic post here uh he had a pyro man and iron fist uh, comic book cool 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 uh, and classic. you know real classic and then he had a, like a never-ending story book right behind it so i mean this could be <laughs> the some dragon kind of, dragon uh, yeah i mean Falgor could be some kind of hint clue hmm, that he's coming back at you know joining the defenders in the uh daredevil series okay uh, karen page has been back foggy nelson's come back um, so our next Fogu. article, I mean, uh, Bullseye's come back, uh, obviously Kingpin, um, and there's other people that are coming back as well. So, oh, the secretary, you... what's her name? Yeah, uh, Paige. Oh, she's Paige. not a secretary anymore. Remember, she is a um, if you go by the Netflix continuity, she's now a partner. Oh, is she a partner? Or I thought yeah. she was. No, she wasn't a private eye. She was a partner, huh? Yeah, That's she's right. a partner. She, now. she was doing her snooping around though for like for this, you know, for the cases. But yes, that's correct. Yeah. So, um, what do you think of him coming back? Of Ben Jones Danny coming back Rand. to be Danny Rand? That's funny. I mean, to to be honest, I enjoyed um, Iron Fist. I did enjoy the Netflix one, but you're right though. The martial Where, arts was Danny? kind of watered down, but um. I mean, the, the actor was good. He played the part. He played the role. So it's, I'm not, it's no surprise. It's Charlie Cox. And also, you know, I bet we're going to talk, you know, the, the Punisher came, yep. is coming back as well. So it looks like everyone from Netflix is just, it's flooding in now. And the shows on Netflix were not bad, dude. I mean, the, the Daredevil was like the epitome. The Punisher was excellent. Um, what else? I think um, uh, the first half of, uh, of uh, Power Man or um, Luke Cage. Mm -hmm. uh, Luke Cage was good. Luke Cage was. I mean, good. it was I, good I, overall. I think mm -hmm. it was okay, um, mm -hmm. but definitely the first six episodes was great. Mm -hmm. It was a long show, dude. I remember it had so many episodes. It was a long show, or was that season two? I don't remember. No, I think anyways, all thirteen episodes. Okay, because um, remember, remember when you when you uh, the bushwhacker Matt was it bushwhacker when the enemy was a bushwhacker? I think that was season two of it. That was a long season, but it was cool though. I enjoyed it. But yeah, Danny Rand, I mean, this guy, I, I liked him, but uh, like, like we're saying it again, dude. His martial arts need to be kind of, you know, needs to go up a notch. That's all. Which I mean, if he's coming back, I guarantee they'll give him enough time. Yeah, yeah, especially with them, especially who's taking care of it now, for sure. Yeah, I can't. I, I, I don't know if I'm excited, but uh, I, I'm not. I look forward to seeing if there's going to be a good change for him. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, and then you mentioned him earlier, but uh, yeah, he is officially back. Mm -hmm. um, John Bernthal is officially back as Frank Castle, aka the Punisher, and his symbol is Can you guys hear me? Did I freeze? Or Jeffries. All did right. Did, did I freeze or did you? No, freeze? I froze. Oh, okay. Sorry. If, I don't know if, if it was I, you. If I, if I get out again, just let me know. Um, but okay. Let me um refresh this. There we go. Yeah, dude. The set photos of the new uh, Daredevil Born Again, dude. If, yeah. If the Punisher's going to be on there, man. It's going to be good. Look at that, dude. You can yeah, see Charlie his, Cox's. His, he's got yeah. a symbol back. Symbol back, dude. Look at that. Yeah, everyone Very was cool. afraid that they wouldn't use it. Um, good. I'm yeah, glad good. they are. Dude, you have it on your beanie, too. Yes. <laughs> That's and, very and cool, I, dude. And, and I have the Daredevil on the other side. Oh, that's sick. So yeah, so the next time, just to wear it upside, wear it inside out. Yes, I, I, I like that picture. Where like you know they're they're probably talking like you know their past episodes with Netflix and shit. You know, just shooting the shit. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, this is awesome. This is great. He was probably one yeah. of the best things of the Netflix shows. Oof, um, man, 
And yeah, from man, what man. I understand, I did see other set photos that uh, there were officers wearing the Punisher symbol. And I think oh. there are corrupt uh, officers that work for the Kingpin. Oh, and wow. uh, the Punisher and Daredevil are taking care of these corrupt cops. So, uh, nice. sorry, woke people. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are I mean, the uh, enemy. Sorry, sorry to the people who are uh, against all the woke people because th this is going to bring a little bit of the wokeness. Uh, yeah. Punisher reclaiming his symbol um, from corrupt cops and and not cops, but uh, I think That's it's kind of uh, kind of risque, isn't it? It's a little risque. Was it some of those um, groups from like the the January sixth thing? Yeah, um, they, they were. They yeah, co-opted his the Punisher symbol. Yep. So it's kind of like they're taking it back, mm -hmm. but who cares? It's the Punisher. That's all that matters. John Bernthal's back. He's a great actor. Uh, he Ooh. portrayed the Punisher great. So so well, dude. The guy brought so much energy, so much brute. He was like an animal, dude. Literally an animal. Yes. Which the Punisher is. So I love it, dude. He's he's awesome in this. He definitely brought some of that Walking Dead acting here Ooh. for sure. He's just know, so man. intense, dude. I remember that one season two, that bar scene where he fights the guy in the bar, and he just he just like he roars at him. He goes, he roars at the guy. Now, if that was me, I'd be like, oh shit! <laughs> it was just. Nuts, I mean, dude, dude yeah. in every picture here, he's covered in blood. Yeah, look at that. I mean, and, and like he loves he it, and he people. loves it, and he loves it, dude. I bet the dude and, loves And it. he beat Why some not? people. Look at those knuckles. Oh, yeah. All red, dude. Crazy. Wow. Can't wait to see it, man. Definitely. Same. Definitely a same. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, last couple of episode, uh, articles here. So uh, it, there is a rumor of Jessica Alba reprising her role as Invisible Woman in Deadpool and Wolverine or Invisible Girl. Mm -hmm. I don't know which one they called her. <laughs> <laughs> invisible girl oh so they're gonna bring alba really that's yeah funny, dude. so that's that's the rumor and it's um i don't know if that's gonna happen I, you know what i i actually kind of hope it does because I, I always said that the next daredevil uh deadpool movie would be um uh deadpool kills the fox universe mm. um which is That'd an ode awesome. to deadpool kills the marvel universe the marvel in the universe. comics Yep. Yeah. Yep. And uh, so the rumor is, is she's going to be uh, the wife of the dead Mr. Fantastic from uh, Earth 838. Oh, really? Which is the Illumina uh, Illuminati from uh, Doctor Strange. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And um, she's supposed to be that wife of that John Krasinski's. Um, yeah. Mr. Fantastic. And, That'd be a uh, cool tie-in. And tie that would also make sense with my theory that the Beast... And um, if you guys have spoiler alert for Captain Marvel, uh, the Marvels, um, uh, that end credit scene where the Beast and uh, Photon show up, which is just another version of um, Monica's mom, Maria. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I believe those those two X Men are in the same universe of A three eight where Professor X is killed as well, part of the Illuminati. Mm. So, like, it's all these people trying to get revenge um, on our Earth or on the MCU's Earth. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, I heard yeah. there's even more people involved, but I don't want to give everything away. <laughs> no, but that'd be a pretty good way to put it in, though. Patricia, how's it going? Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Hey, Trish. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I hope you're right, dude. That's a cool story to lead up on. I hope, I, I hope you're right. That's a cool multiverse story that they should have been like leaning into a lot, but they just slow played it, and now people are pissed. <laughs> I know, right? They really slow played it, dude. You're right. Uh, yeah, but I'm sure Deadpool is going to be a great movie to watch. It's going to be a fun, funny, oh. um, definitely Sorry. different from all the recent Marvel movies we've been getting, so... Sorry, I think I called you by your whole name, Patricia. Sorry about that. <laughs> your whole your whole legal name. Thank you, Patricia Forster. Uh, and then, uh, speaking of the Fantastic Four, uh, there's rumors that... It oh, I think you, uh, you froze again. He'll be back in just a few moments, guys. 
Let me send him a message just in case. There. Oh, I sent you a message. <laughs> you froze just in case you didn't get it. What? Me? Yeah. Uh oh. What? Uh, uh oh. Okay. Trish, Trish was like, oh no, poor Jeff. <laughs> Thank goodness I'm, I'm I'm not frozen, right? No, you're good. You're good now. You're good. Okay. Okay. Uh, but yeah, um, I don't know if that's the correct case because they're saying, according to a trusted insider, Daniel Rickman uh, or Reitman, on his subscription based Patreon account uh, via X, <coughs> the upcoming Fantastic Four reboot will take place in an alternate universe and not Earth 616, which is the MCU. Yes. If true, this would be the second MCU movie to be set in an alternate reality after Deadpool and Wolverine which is expected to take place in the 20th century studios, uh, X-Men universe. So, um, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't, Oh, look at I that. don't know how true this is or how much of, uh, what we're also not getting. Maybe they're from the six one six, but they got, like I said, got stuck into, uh, an alternate universe. Um, cause in the comic books, what they've gotten stuck in the, uh, the negative, zone mm -hmm. yeah and, and definitely other dimensions as well so who knows exactly what this is or maybe he means not an alternate universe or a different dimension who knows what they mean um but that's kind of what the it rumor is up. now hey look somebody gave us 20 bucks jeff do we put a special video for that what from cal l thank you cal l cal l thank you sir Does uh yes it? yeah we, we we got something for you sir we got we got some basos so <laughs> you gotta give it to him. One, and two, two three. three, and how perfect! Four, you know, it's I the know. Matrix. Five, six, right? Seven. I've never had to do this. Eight, eight nine, nine, ten. Okay, we'll we'll go with ten, sir. <laughs> yeah, ten times two, ten pesos, not pesos, but besos. So yeah, thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, we got we already Jay giving you kisses too. <laughs> yeah, he laughed. There you go, a little bit extra. You're Thank the you man. So Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> I think the highest kisses we gave was like five or ten, right? <laughs> Dude, I know. <laughs> I, think, I think that was the most. I know. Uh, but yeah, I I can't wait to see what exactly the storyline is because uh, they're gonna have to explain everything to us. Um, uh, yes. The way that this multiverse thing is working, people are confused mm -hmm. anyways, and yeah, um, it'd yeah. be nice that this all kind of like makes more sense of the whole universe that we're getting into because it's going to play yeah. a major part yeah oh, absolutely uh i'm pretty sure the uh, incursion things will be more prominent um good job and Fish. <laughs> definitely going to get us secret wars goodness hopefully uh especially with all the rumors of the symbiote uh spider-man getting the symbiote suit um like if they do all those stuff yes it's fan service of course yes but everybody is going to be excited to see it anyways Oh yeah, of course. Just, I know. Just I know. like I'll, hearing I'll... Captain America say, you know, Avengers Assemble. Yeah, <laughs> dude, that was like a long time coming, dude, for sure. Yeah, oh, definitely. Kal Kalel says he saw Keanu at the first screening for John Wick. Humble guy. Oh, I've I've always heard how I'm humble jealous. this dude is. Yes. Even he's so he's, he's respectful, and like he, he even like he loves like kids. I remember I saw a bit of YouTube video of a kid saying, "I'm a, I'm a big fan," and he starts conversating with the kid like very very humble, very like you know down to earth so i truly believe that man i wish hopefully one day i get to meet him in person as well god i hope to meet him too um i mean shoot if you're in la you could probably meet him or in new york in the subway right like yeah, on the subway dude, random yeah. freaking places yeah. that's what i've um, heard yeah but yeah can't wait can't wait um but let's move on uh one last article uh came in last minute but it does have to do with the Fantastic Four. I'm sure all of you have heard by now. Yeah. Uh, they have now casted Silver Surfer. And I'm sorry for all you fans who are going to be upset by this. But yes, they did cast a female. Uh, Julia Gardner is our Shalabal uh, version Virgin. of Silver Surfer. Isn't that uh, the girlfriend of Norman Rand? Some sort of... Uh, no, well, okay. I think there is a female version of her in an alternate universe in the in the yeah. Marvel comic books, and oh. I think her name is Shalabal. Yeah, and I heard that she has some sort of relation with Norman Rad, some sort of relationship. I think. Yeah, right? uh, yeah, it could, it could be. Um, is it is it his wife? 
something like that. So I mean, if people are mad that I can't, I can't remember, that, it. If, if people are mad that it's not Norman Rad, Norman Rad is still out there. This is just a different version of Silver Surfer. It doesn't really matter, you know. But well, if they're saying the Fantastic Four is in an alternate universe, this is an alternate universe of the Silver of Surfer. Silver Surfer. So, so our six one six Silver Surfer might not be this female. Exactly, he's still out there somewhere. Right so. <laughs> in the galaxy, if that's what you're, you know, if that's what you're upset about, but yeah, I, I, I understand why people got 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 upset. I get it, um, but you know, let let's let's hear it out. Yeah, let's see the plus, story. Got to watch the movie first before you can actually pass judgment and how good or bad it is. And uh, also, I yeah, mean, like, the cast like, is already coming together though. Yeah, it's already done. And Trish says, "Who's upset? She's pretty. I know, right? It's like, come on, it's a win." Right, and she's a good mm -hmm. actress. Mm -hmm. Uh, she's been in a couple shows I've watched. Like, let me see what she's to, actually to, been in. To be honest, I thought, um, what's her name? The girl that's playing, um, oh, what was it? Uh, Furiosa. I thought she was going to be the new Silver Surfer. The girl's playing, Fur oh, uh, yeah, Anna Kate, Anna Taylor jo uh, Joy. I thought she Anna was going to be, yeah. well, uh, she's in Queen's Gambit. You know, or, or, you know, the, oh, she's uh, in a lot of movies, a lot of movies. She's good. I thought she was going to be the she that was, silver surfer. She was in New Mutants. Mm -hmm. She was magic. Yeah, she was magic. Yeah, she has that that look that could look very foreign, universally foreign. I don't know, but I thought she was going to play. To be honest. But this actress was in Ozark, mm -hmm. which was on Netflix with the uh, uh, God. What's his name? Uh, I forget his name right now, but um, he's and a comedian. Also, yeah, and also in Inventing Anna. Um, what else? She was in another show that I watched, but I can't remember what it was. Uh, they don't mention it here. Um, but yeah, I mean, she's a good actress. And um, again, if the rumors are right that this does take place in a different alternate universe, you guys can all be you know, happy that this is more than likely an alternate universe Silver Surfer anyways, mm -hmm. and we might actually get the real one. Or Norman Rad the, sometime the Norman the Rand version of him, yeah. Or maybe he'll make an appearance, or who knows? I don't know what what, what the plan is. Yeah, I don't know. What 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 are you thinking about the all these Fantastic Four news and and the new casting? I mean, we're getting closer and closer to them getting to filming. I'm sure. I know, and I want to know this alternate universe. What what are they going to bring out of this? I mean, it's like. I don't know. It's like, a, it's like, what, why this this choice instead of having it, you know, the original six one six, like we we're talking about. But um, this, there's a reason why they're doing the alternate universe, and I want to know why. I mean, wh wh who's who's going to be included? The big baddie. I think. Well, I think we all know who the big baddie is, but I mean, yeah, I just want to see how it takes place in the multiverse. I mean, if the rumors are right, it's Galactus, and it is mm -hmm. uh, going to be voiced by uh, Javier Bardem. Ooh, ooh, okay. So, like um, yeah, and. Again, that would make sense because you don't want to. Um, obviously, it's a cheat code, but if you have the six one six universe, you don't want to see Galactus right away. You don't want to see mm -hmm. some Surfer right away. Mm -hmm. um, and then we can get those stories later down the road. Sure. Um, that relate to the world that you want it to be, uh, but we're in the multiverse right now, so mm -hmm. definitely different universes. Uh, the Fox universe. Um, I'm sure uh, this Fantastic Four universe might be a, a same thing like that. Or, mm -hmm. heck, for all we know, they did get sent to the A38 universe with the Illuminati, and the Illuminati just imprisoned them, or they've mm -hmm. been on the run. You know, right? Yeah, anything could happen. That's what I'm saying. Like, what? What is this? Like, what, what, how is this going to affect the story, the plot line? That's what I'm saying. This multiverse thing. So we just got to see. We got to wait and see. Yeah, definitely can't wait. Uh, I'm excited for the cast, for mm -hmm. the new stories, and um, just a new direction now that everything has changed. Uh, leadership mm -hmm. has changed, uh, especially gone back to Bob Iger, which for all you shareholders, it's going back up. Um, for all you fans of their content, um, the quality will get better in mm -hmm. the next couple of years. So um, uh, this goes along with it. So I yeah. can't wait. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, uh that is it for today it was a short day a little less than an hour thank you thank you thank you <laughs> <laughs> good job good job excellent work excellent uh, work thank you cal l for the donation i yes, really thank you appreciate so much. it mm -hmm. uh oh we really appreciate it 
Yeah. Um, and uh, Trish, thank you for dropping by. Um, I I I don't know if uh, Feral sold out everywhere, but I'm pretty sure it sold out in a lot of places. Um, I think it sold out in my store. So uh, and I couldn't get a hold of any of the one in twenty fives, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I, I yeah. still got a copy of uh, the A cover, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm happy. So, um, but before we go. Uh, you have anything to say, sir, or anything to promote or anything like that? Uh, not at the moment, but hopefully some on uh, something on Saturday. Hopefully, I'll post something on Saturday. Some of them I do during the week, so we'll see. Ooh, all right, all right. Uh, before we go, obviously, we give a shout out to our sponsors again. Uh, give a shout out to Cover Price. Go check them out if you want 30 days of unlimited cover price for only 99 cents. All you have to do is type in the code Nerdvana14. Uh, keep track of all your combo collections and market and articles and stuff like that. And then you can go over to Bird City Comics. You can get 10% off your purchase, getting you their store exclusives, incentives, and toys and stuff like that. And you can get it by typing in the code TNH10. And then go visit our buddy Sean at DisplayGeek.com. Get 10% off your first purchase. If you type in the code Team TEAMNERDHERD, you know, protect your toys, your video games, and, uh, you know, get some... Uh, Put together shells. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Woohoo. Look at that. Second printing on the way. That's what I was hoping. Whoa, nice, Second printing nice. means more new covers. <laughs> <laughs> For cover lovers. Yes. 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 Uh, and with that said, um, don't forget to check out tomorrow's episode of um, Long Story Short. Mm -hmm. I'm actually not sure if it's tomorrow's episode, but they're going to have a special guest. Mm hmm. Uh, and then on Friday, hopefully, uh, the ladies at Nearing Nirvana will be able to do their comic book women, uh, uh, I'm sorry, their Nearing Nirvana variety show. And then on Saturday, we'll be back. Last week, we did miss it because of WonderCon, but we'll be back okay. with another episode of Saturday Morning Toy Box. Yeah, yeah. And then on Monday, uh, and yes, we did miss this past Monday, but uh, Cover Lovers will return on next Monday as well. Mm -hmm. So... Um, Hopefully you guys had a good time. Give us yeah. a like, subscribe. Let us know what you guys thought of any of the articles. Mm -hmm. And uh, until next time, uh, we'll see you guys later. If you want to do it right, watch what you like. Nerd for life. Yes. Peace. Peace.